What's up guys, welcome to your 63rd Java tutorial. And in the 62nd Java tutorial, we made two buttons and put them on the screen, one right here and one right here. So now in this tutorial, what we're gonna be doing is building um, some kind of handling events. So when we click the button, something actually happens. So we're actually gonna be building a whole new class called, well, we'll name it something like handler class but for now we're just going to be creating the object for it so let's go ahead and put handler class and we're probably going to be getting an error right there and we'll name it handler object equals new handler class and why are we getting an error because we didn't create a class named handler class yet but trust me we will so now let's go ahead and add some action listeners so reg which is the name of the first button. We'll just go ahead and add action listener right there. And for the parameter, it takes the object handler. So that's why we needed to create a class before, or excuse me, an object before we created that class. Handler, and let's go ahead and just add the same thing to our other button, which is named custom. There we go, right there. And what this pretty much does, add action listener, is pretty much the beginning of adding uh, pretty much a handler for our buttons. So anyways, we are, let's see, I think that's everything we needed to put in the constructor. So this whole thing right here is your constructor right here. So we want to build another class called handler class, but let's build it outside of the constructor. So in your parentheses, and outside of your constructor, and eh, let's add some space right there. Let's go ahead and type private class handler class. And we need to name it handler class because we named this handler class right here. If you name something different up here, create it uh create the same down here. And yes, we are putting a class inside this main class. We are allowed to put classes inside classes. So, you know, just letting you know, we can do that. Why? Because we just did. And we'll have this implement, there we go. Did I spell that right? Implement action listener. And when a class implements another class, what does that mean? When a class implements another class, like we're implementing, did I spell that right? I was wondering how I was getting in line. When we have a class and it implements action listener, what does implement means? I had a couple of questions asked me on the other tutorial. What implement means in a nutshell is we're saying to action listener, all right, we want to use your class in your method. And action listener says, all right, if you implement me, I'll let you use my methods, but you have to overwrite every single method in my class. And we're saying, all right, we're going to inherit our, all your classes from you, but we promise we're going to overwrite it. And it's a little more complex than that, but in a nutshell, that's basically what it means. So now, any method that's in the action listener class, we're going to have to overwrite it and create one ourselves. Lucky for us, there's only one method in the action listener class, and this is called action performed. So lucky for us, we only have to create one method and it's gonna overwrite this action performed method. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We'll set it equal to public void action performed just like this. And as a parameter, it takes action event event. So that's all we have to do. And in the method body, what we write in here is what we want to happen when one of these buttons are clicked. So since we added the functionality of add action listener class to handler, it pretty much whenever we click this button, this happens. And that's what we're going to create right here, the functionality for it. So whenever we create regular, this is going to happen. Whenever we create custom, this is going to happen. So enough talking, let's just go ahead and do it. What we want to happen is we want J option pane to pop up which is pretty much a separate window and we want show message dialog 
and I didn't feel like typing it because I was lazy so I just did that and this takes a couple of parameters itself and that is null and that's just positioning and let's just go ahead and put string format uh, put some text on the screen um, the first one will be nothing fancy just percent s and the second argument will pretty much be event and you'll see what this does later on nice little spread for you get action command just like that and now I just gotta make sure I don't have any errors and now that we don't we can go ahead and we can call this main um, pretty much class so go ahead to where your main method is for the whole entire program because that's what we're going to be doing now as you can see you need to import Java X swing J frame and this pretty much lets you use Windows I already imported it because I didn't want to have to forget so now we can go ahead and make a GUI object so GUI or whatever you name this class I'm gonna name my GUI object GO for GUI object equals new GUI doesn't take any parameters in the constructor and now just put go set default close operation and you definitely need to have this or else your program isn't going to be able to close and then you need to put in here j frame dot exit on close so make sure you have that it's pretty important if not did I spell something wrong is oh here we go is undefined for the type of GUI set default close operation there we go uh, spelling it's key kids it's key you definitely need to learn that skill in school unlike me so the next thing we want to do is pretty much set the size for our window and we do this with a set size built-in method and you can set it to anything you want I'm gonna set mine by 300 by 200 and the last thing is you need to make sure it's visible so go dot set visible and its boolean value just set it equal to true if you set it equal to false it won't show up and we do want it to show up so let's go ahead and run this right here and here's what we see we see a regular button right here that when we click it it says reg button and we see a custom button that when we hover over it the rollover changes and when we click it it says custom okay regular button custom wow this is an awesome program we should definitely market this try to sell it to Microsoft or someone because they could use this I mean look at this flawless no bugs or anything that's amazing so now let me see how much time I left have left on my tutorial two minutes I'll give you guys a quick little walkthrough of how this works again I'll just give you guys the meat of the tutorial we created two variables and those were going to be to store our buttons next thing in our constructor we added a title to our window we gave our window a layout which is pretty much the default layout we added a regular button as you can see here and then we made two images and we stored them in objects B and X and then we pretty much and added another button a custom button with the image B by default and when we rolled over it we got the image X and we added it to the screen lastly we created a new class which pretty much was the ev to handle the events when we clicked our button we said alright for this regular button we want to have an event when we click it and for this custom button we wanted to have an event when we clicked it so they just weren't pretty much playing on buttons just sitting there doing nothing and then since we said alright we want some functionality we actually had to make a class to add some functionality to it in this event dot get action command this pretty much just gave you um, the name of the button so that's pretty much all that did um, real basic stuff here and the next tutorial we're gonna be going over some other stuff for GUIs as well we're probably gonna be focusing on GUIs and event handling for a little bit since you know it's pretty much one of the coolest things in Java we can do. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next tutorial.